Overall, we are looking at lighter winds for today. So right now, our forecast winds showing light winds for today. As we head into Tuesday, those trade winds starting to pick up. So that's the good news. They're going to last throughout the week. So things are going to be feeling really nice out there. On our radar, not too much rain to talk about, especially for the northern half of the state. It's pretty dry. Just a few windward and Malka scattered showers coming in, especially again for the southern half of the state. So Oahu, we've just got a little bit of Malka showers out there. Kauai, you're staying pretty dry. Maui County and the Big Island. Hilo waking up to just a few isolated showers. Checking out our surf, two to four for south facing shores, two to three for east and north and one to three out west. Overall, the next eight days looking pretty good. Trade winds are light today. They pick up and then by our weekend, they're nice and breezy. That's a checkup of your weather and your traffic. Tom and Lindsay, back over to you. Mika, thank you. Time now is 5.58 and in some entertainment news this morning, a guardian of the galaxy has joined the Schwarzenegger family. That's right, and we've got a preview of the newest Star Wars movie. David Daniel has all that and more in today's Hollywood Minute. Chris Pratt and Katherine Schwarzenegger, Arnold's daughter, announced on social media they married this weekend. Pratt was previously wed to actress Anna Ferris. They have a six-year-old son, Jack. Tom Cruise is the same age as me. He gets to fight the mummy. I am the mummy. <laughs> Late Night doesn't open wide until Friday, but it's already scoring with audiences. Debuting in just four theaters this past weekend, the comedy raked in a quarter million dollars for the weekend's best per theater average. Got a name? Cal Kestis. Saw Guerrero. Here's your first look at Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, the new EA game set during the Clone Wars. The game lands in stores November 15th, five weeks before Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker hits theaters. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Oh, a lot going on in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, for sure. A lot going on here, too. That's right. We've got here <laughs> a, lot, a lot of news, weather, and traffic, and it all starts right now. Now, from KITV4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Coming up on Good Morning Hawaii, it's a terrifying scenario for any parent. The couple's car stolen with their young boy in the back seat. Today, the alleged burglar learning his fate. And neighbors are fed up as a serial tire slasher hits the streets of Kalihi, hitting more than a dozen cars. We'll take you to the valley in a live report. And we all know it's been a headache for drivers with the Pali Highway being closed for months, but now the light at the end of the tunnel is one step closer to reopening. We'll tell you the new hours when you can hit the road. Well, good morning to you. It is Monday, June 10th, 2019. Maleko and Tasia do have the morning off. So we want to get right back outside with a look at your weather and traffic. What's going on out there, Mika? You know what? I've got good news. It's looking really good, and it's looking beautiful for the next week or so. We really cannot complain about our island weather. The only thing is our winds are going to be a little bit light for today. So our winds, light and variable, coming in around 10 to 15. So not terrible, but we are expecting our trades to pick more back up as we head into Tuesday and the rest of our week. Our temperature is going to heat up today. Our daytime high right around 89 to 90 degrees. Taking a look at our radar, we don't have too much rain, but where we do see some of that moisture is the southern half of the state, mainly for our windward and our Malka areas. But besides that, our uh, northern half of the state staying pretty dry this morning. Temperatures getting up to about 84 degrees over on Kauai, starting out the morning with lots of sunshine, turning partly cloudy by the afternoon. That same case here in Honolulu. Our winds again coming in about 10 to 15. Temperatures getting pretty high for Kahului. It's been hot, it, breaking 90s over the past week or so. 89 degrees is what we're expecting. And for Hilo, a little more clouds and some isolated showers throughout the day. Trade winds pick back up as we head into Tuesday for the rest of the week. We've got a disturbance that could possibly bring us some more windward and Malka scattered showers for our Thursday. That's a checkup of your weather. Let's take it out to the roadways with your traffic. Quick look at your drive time, 74 minutes coming out from the west side to town, 34 if you're heading out from EVA. We do still have that accident. HPD is on scene. This is in Waimanalo, uh, involving a moped on Kalaniana Ole Highway. So again, this is near Tinker Road. No major road closures are in place. And we've also got that accident in Kalihi. So uh, Kalihi Street is closed between Numana Road and Nulania Hea due to an accident. So we're going to keep monitoring both of those and let you know when those open back up. Here's a look at the H1 viaduct, taking it out to the H1, H2 merge. We're starting to see those brake lights, which indicates it's slowing down there. Through our town spots, H1 and middle still looking good. And as we take it out to Oahu's, Oahu's east side, here's a look at Kalani Ole Highway. That's a look at your weather and your traffic. Lindsay and Tom, back over to you.
All right, thanks, Mika. Well, dozens of tires flattened in Kalihi over the weekend. And now Honolulu police, they are searching for the people responsible as KTV 4's Mackenzie Stas go live in Kalihi this morning with the very latest. Good morning, Mackenzie. Lindsay, Tom, good morning. Live here on Waia Camilo and Kaumualii Street. And take a look. This is what residents and businesses here in this area woke up to on Sunday morning. They found more than a dozen tires on these cars flattened. If you take a look at this video, this shows you and gives you a better idea of just how many vehicles we're talking. Again, on Sunday morning, here in the area of Waia Camilo and Kaumualii Streets, there is more than a 17 vehicles with popped tires. The affected vehicle spanned all the way from Kalakaua District Park to Menehune Mac Candies. Now again, all of the vehicles affected were parked on the street. Neighbors and business owners here did file police reports. Several police officers did respond to the scene. We spoke with police this morning. They tell us as of right now, no arrests have been made, but anyone with information on all of the tires that have been popped and flattened here in Kali'ihi should contact police. For now, we'll send it back to you inside. All right, Mackenzie, thank you. The man accused of stealing a car with an 11-year-old boy inside is scheduled for sentencing today. 36-year-old Kyle Douglas pleaded no contest for stealing a couple's rental car in Kailua last June. He was later arrested after crashing into another car in Kaneohe. And Douglas faces up to 11 years in prison. Well, homeless in Kaka'ako say they want some state land to live on. They want to set up their own community within the larger community here on Oahu. Kapo'eo Kaka'ao, or the people of Kaka'ao, it's Kaka'ako, excuse me, say it hopes to start its own neighborhood watch program to cut down on crime as it builds its own sanctuary space. The group drafted rules and expectations, asking park residents to sign up if they want to move to a safe area if and when it becomes available. The group says it's working with Lieutenant Governor Josh Green to secure a parcel of land to move to. They're modeling this community after another one that's been created in Waianae. We work with them literally weekly to help give these guys tips. Oh, you know, here's how you do this, here's how you do this. So they're trying to build an intentional community like the one out in Waianae that can take care of it themselves, offer healing, offer hope, and offer purpose. An interesting idea, and some of the homeless say living in a shelter means they'll have to leave behind their support system and their belongings, while others feel they'll end up just being back on the streets worse than before. Now, the city doesn't support the idea of safe zones and sanctuaries. Officials say the increase in unsheltered homeless increases the likelihood of their death. Well, access to Pali Highway made traveling much easier for Oahu residents yesterday, and the new schedule opens the contraflow every Sunday. The highway will be open for Honolulu-bound traffic from 6 to 11.30 in the morning. Kailua and Kaneohe-bound traffic will open between 12.30 in the afternoon until 6 at night. Traveling halfway around the island every, every time I want to come to town, and this is my church, so Sundays is like, takes twice as long. And the State Department of Transportation hopes to reopen the entire Pali Highway in August. It has been mostly closed since February due to a rock fall. Yeah, a lot of people have been waiting for that one, yes, for sure. Well, time now, 6.06, and some outstanding students are earning some massive scholarships and, of course, our morning shakas. And I'll learn how a student paid it forward to a domestic abuse survivors this through her perseverance and hard work. And she joins us in studio now to explain the project's purpose. Our morning shakas are coming up next. Stay with us. In the Maxfield Ohana and here at Window World, we're into comfort because comfortable homes make comfortable families. If your home was built in my grandparents' era through the past 10 years, there's been huge improvements in energy efficiency. Replace your old windows today for only $25 per window per month that's installed. Visit windowworldohana.com or call this number today for a free in-home consultation. Your family and your wallet will thank you. Technology should be simple. Simple to connect with, easy to talk to. Hey BMW, where can I park? And a joy to drive. 
Don't be driven by technology, drive it. The all new BMW 3 Series. Hurry in to lease a 2019 BMW 330i sedan for $389 a month. A new paradigm is coming to Hawaii that is going to change everything. Paradigm waterproof flooring. Waterproof from the top down, this beautiful flooring is ideal for bathrooms, dining rooms, and kitchens. It is easy to clean, will not stain from spills or swell when exposed to liquids, and comes with a limited lifetime warranty for your home. Available at Homeowners Design Center. We put it all together. Hawaii, beautiful islands in the heart of the Pacific, where ancient traditions are honored and our vibrant communities define us. From ocean shores to mountaintops, we care about our land and more importantly, our people, because we believe in the spirit of aloha. Hawaii, it's more than just a place, it's home. KITV4 Island News. This room is always so full of positivity and love. Turn on, Ellen. You will feel better. I'm just loving this interview. And now it's funny, right? I am starstruck. <laughs> <laughs> Being on one of your games is like my dream. As long as you continue to have fun and play, it gets better and better. <laughs> Amazing. Ellen at 4 p.m., followed by KITV4 Island News. Starting off this beautiful day with a beautiful island photo. This is sent in this morning from Susan Ray. Things are looking good for today, really for the rest of the week. Today, our trade winds are going to be on the lighter side, coming in light and variable, about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Our temperatures are 72 degrees here in town. That actually dropped one degree from earlier. Our wind speed still on the calm side, though. It's shaping up to be a beautiful morning. Our temperatures across the state, 68 for Kahului, 67 for Lanai City, over on the Garden Isle. Temperatures coming in right around 70 degrees. Our satellite radar, not showing too much rain, but where we are seeing some of that moisture is for windward and mocha spots, mainly for the southern half of the state. So it's dry here on Oahu and for Kauai, just a few sprinkles for Hilo and for windward areas of Maui. Overall, we're not expecting much rain. We could see some cloud coverage for our interior spots as we head into our afternoon, but really we're not expecting, again, much rain over the next couple of days. Pretty dry and stable conditions for the week. If you think about heading outside, definitely a great day to do so. Two to four for south, two to three for east and north and one to three out for west facing shores 89 to 94 that's our highs it's going to be a warm one and for the rest of the week we've got our trade winds sticking around the weekend they bump up just a bit coming in from the east at 10 to 25 miles an hour that's a look at your weather time now for traffic Drive time's coming in from the west side. You've got about 80 minutes for your commute coming in from EVA 37. Just want to give you a quick update with that accident that we had out in Waimanalo near Tinker Road. We do have HPD on scene. Now EMS is also on scene. That was a moped accident that happened. We're going to continue to monitor this and let you know uh, when this clears up. There are no major road closures that are in place. So also out in Kalihi, we've also got the street closed off between Numana Road and Nalania Hea. That's because of an accident. We've also got this down pull out there so we do have HPD on scene we'll continue to monitor that as well bring you the latest updates as they come that's a checkup of your weather and your traffic Lindsay I'll send it over to you We have our morning shakas right now. Time now is 6.11. And uh, joining me now um, are the 2019 HMSA Kaimana Award winners. So Taylor and Ty, thank you guys both so much for being with us this morning. Um, for those that don't know, if we can kind of go over a bit what the Kaimana Awards are about, because I know it does entail helping out those domestic abuse survivors. So um, if we could just talk a little bit about the awards for, for those don't, that don't know. Sure, the Kaimana Awards and Scholarship Program is uh, celebrates our all-around student athletes, people who focus on community service, they excel on the field, and they do well in their academics as well. So really that well-rounded student, we recognize 15 students each year with a $5,000 scholarship. Excellent. So let's talk about, you, you are the recipient of this year's Kaimana Award. So, so um, let's talk about the, the Kaimana Award. What did, you, what did you do to win that award? So I was... Like she said, an all-around student athlete. I participated 
As my class president, I've been yearbook editor-in-chief, and I'm a two-time state champion in girls varsity soccer with Iolani School, so. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it sounds like a very dedicated students. And uh, for, for those that don't know, um, you know, it, it was a, a full schedule for you, obviously. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you got a lot going on. So how, how were you able to manage that, that schedule with the sports plus community service on top of that? Um, my parents transporting me everywhere and like a strong community that helped me with everything and like writing things down in my planner and checklists and stuff so yeah excellent so your your future goals and endeavors what would what would those be so this fall i'll be going to pomona college and playing division three soccer and i'm hoping to major in neuroscience excellent. and come back to the islands and help out with that yeah oh very good very good it comes full circle <laughs> and and for those that don't know i know you did talk briefly about the kaimana awards but um l let's just talk a little bit more about maybe some of the partnerships involved as well because it sounds like um there are multiple companies that team together mm -hmm. we partner with the hawaii high school athletic association every year to um for the scholarship program so for those who might be interested in and learning more, they can visit hmsa.com slash Kaimana to learn about this year's recipients. And in a few months, we'll have next year's scholarship application ready for those who want to apply for the 2019-2020 school year. Excellent. And for those that do want to apply, um, how, well, there's a, there's a big pool to choose from. So um, how can how can students apply? Um, they, they will submit an application to references from maybe a college counselor or a teacher or a coach. Um, and an essay about what they want to do with their future. And the winners for the Kaimana Award, how are they selected? We get over 300 scholarship applications almost every year. So we have an internal team at in HMSA that calls it down to 30 semifinalists. And then we have a, um, a group of external selection committee of community and business leaders that select the final 15 winners. Excellent. And before we go really quick, the website that, pit that students can apply? HMSA.com slash Kaimana. Okay, HMSA.com slash Kaimana. Well, congratulations. Thank on you. winning excellent and we'll have much more we'll have a link on our website as well so much more to come on good morning hawaii stay with us including your top morning headlines we'll be right back visit hawaiisavingsclub.com for daily deals and savings Looking for better family health, wellness, and savings? HawaiiSavingsClub.com offers daily deals on Johnson & Johnson products. Don't get stuck paying full price and don't get stuck in traffic. Visit KITB.com before you get on the road. Personal injury is what we do. We're going to take care of everything. Our promise to you is that we'll be in the recovery with you. Spectrum Internet delivers. Based on the latest FCC broadband report measuring Broadband America, Spectrum is the top performing internet provider, delivering more speed more consistently. Spectrum Internet provides the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance, combined with no data caps and no speed throttling. Plus, free security suite and a free modem. Spectrum Internet is the best choice for connecting you to what matters most. Spectrum. Hawaii is one of the most beautiful, bountiful places on Earth. But we sometimes face unwelcome pests that can carry diseases and health risks, like rat lungworm disease. It is a serious problem. Fortunately, we can protect ourselves. When outdoors, keep an eye on keiki who may crawl or play on the ground and put things in their mouths. Keep food and drink containers covered to prevent contamination. And, like all good cooks, wash produce carefully and cook food thoroughly. Outdoor activities can be safer simple steps. KITV.com News, sponsored by Homeworld. For 50 years, Cracker Barrel has been cooking homestyle favorites to perfection. We thought we'd celebrate by making our golden anniversary extra golden. Introducing new, crispy, juicy southern fried chicken now at Cracker Barrel. Looking for better family health, wellness, and savings? HawaiiSavingsClub.com offers daily deals on Johnson & Johnson products. Don't get stuck paying full price and don't get stuck in traffic. Visit KITB.com before you get on the road.
just like pee. I want to not like him, but I can't. Not letting some snake slide his way into her heart. I don't know what to do. May I talk to you for a moment? Uh... The Bachelorette on a special night Tuesday on ABC. Good morning, Hawaii, and happy Monday. Time now, 618. Our temperatures here in town, 72 degrees. We've got some nice colors in our background as the sun comes up over Hawaii. Our wind speeds are calm at the moment. We are looking at our winds staying light. We do have this disturbance that's pushing off that high pressure. That's what's been fueling our trees or trades over the past week. But as that moves farther away from the islands, our trades are lightening. So that's what we're expecting for our Monday. But they return by Tuesday. We are expecting our winds to stick around throughout most of our week. But in the single digits right now. So three miles per hour for Kahului over on the garden now. You've got single digit wind speeds as well. Just a few scattered showers for our windward areas, mainly over uh, the Big Island and for Maui. We're staying relatively dry here on Oahu and for Kauai. It's going to be a nice day. We really can't complain. So if you're thinking about getting outside, here's your hiking forecast for the day. Daytime high getting up to 89 degrees. Our winds coming in from the east and variable about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Sunshine in the morning turning to partly cloudy by the afternoon. Our leeward and interior spots could see a couple of clouds and showers develop as we head into the afternoon. That should clear up by our evening time. For the rest of the week, trade winds return by Tuesday and then by the weekend, things are looking nice and breezy, feeling good. We could see a bump in our windward and Malka showers by Thursday as we've got a disturbance approaching the islands. Nothing too significant though. We are expecting relatively dry and stable conditions for the rest of our week. That's a checkup of our weather. Let's take it out to the roadways with your traffic. Just want to give you some updates with this accident that we have out in Waimanalo. Uh, again, this was at Tinker Road, so we don't have any major roadways, but we do have HPD and EMS on scene. That was involving a moped accident there. So just a heads up for that, we will let you know uh, when that is cleared up, isn't causing too much of a problem for roadways out there, but just a heads up for that, keep that in mind. And out in Kalihi, we've also got reports that HPD is on scene. The roadway is clear between Numana Road and Nalaniye Street due to this accident. Joe, just a heads up for that as well the roadway is closed there elsewhere though we're taking a look at our traffic cameras where we do have traffic slowing down at that h1 h2 merge pretty slow going for our drivers as we take it a little bit closer into town here's a look at h1 and middle street roadways are still clear that's a checkup of your weather and your traffic Lindsay and tom back over to you all right, Mika, thank you. The time now is 6.20 and several people were injured in a stampede this weekend at the Pride Parade in Washington, D.C. after people heard what was believed to be gunshots. And there are simple steps you can take to help protect you in a situation like this and improve your chances of survival. Matt Gutman gives us the first look at what's coming up on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, how to survive a stampeding crowd. Over the weekend, panic in D.C. What happened? Someone has a gun. Reports of a man with a gun, which turned out to be false, sending a shockwave of fear through the crowd. That's when everybody just took off like crazy. So to learn how to escape when a crowd turns to chaos, I drop myself smack into the middle of the biggest one I could find. We are in New Orleans, and if there is ever a place that has dense crowds, it is here during Mardi Gras. We brought along Paul Wertheimer, one of the world's leading authorities on crowd safety. He says always have an exit plan. When you're walking through this crowd, what are you looking for? I have to begin to pre-visualize. What if something happens? Where will I go? Coming up at 7 a.m., we'll have the first thing you need to do if you do fall down. With your GMA First Look, I'm Matt Gutman, ABC News, Los Angeles. Let's see, Aleve is proven better on pain than Tylenol Extra Strength and lasts longer with fewer pills. So why am I still thinking about this? I'll take Aleve. Aleve, proven better on pain. With so many nourishing shades, a color change is easy. Nutrice has 77. From our darkest blacks to our lightest blondes, it nourishes while it colors, plus avocado, olive, and shea. Change a little or a lot. Nutrice, nourished hair, better color. By Garnier, naturally. As a Home Instead caregiver, for everything that I give, I get so much in return. Join our family of Home Instead caregivers and help make a world of difference. Home Instead Senior Care. Apply today.
time now, 623, and coming up in the next half hour of Good Morning Hawaii, crane collapse. Yeah, powerful winds in Dallas, enough to take down a crane. Witnesses describing the shocking scene that left one person dead. Plus, a spa treatment made popular by celebrities is under investigation after two clients tested positive for HIV. Find out how the procedure may have put patients at risk. But up next, the Tony Awards wrapped up last night. We'll show you the most theatrical moments taking center stage. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Greetings, saints and friends. I'm Pastor Billy Holland Jr. of the Apostolic Faith Church, welcoming you every Sunday morning here in Hawaii and across the world to break in your weekend with faith, song, and worship of the Kingdom of God Crusade. We'll share in all our music and song with the church band and the choir, along with a spirit-filled and spirit-directed sermon. We hope and pray you'll let us be a part of your Sunday activities. That's the Kingdom of God Crusade every Sunday morning. Oh, check this guy out. Oh my God, so cute. What's he wearing? Aww. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, that guy is pretty cool. And smart. Got a Fujitsu and a dog? We love our Fujitsu. Sarah, she was a rebel. Tell us amazing. Why do you think your mom loves your little sister more than you? A family torn to pieces. She said, if you make this a choice between you and my new husband, I'm going to choose him. You never choose a man over your kid. I did it. Can the truth team bring them together again? Listen, so here's what so I hear. Listen, that I should can have just you said, okay, child, I'm done. done. Find out as they face the truth. Face the truth today at 2 on KITV4 Island Television. Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Tortora, Medical Director of the Hawaiian Eye Center. My colleague, Dr. Stephen Rhee, and I enjoy our work helping people see better. The best part of my work at Hawaiian Eye Center is to be able to make a difference in people's lives. People can take vision for granted. But sometimes vision needs our help. When we help our patients see better, it enhances their lives. Life has never St. Francis Healthcare System is creating something new and exciting. The St. Francis Kupuna Village in Liliha. The former hospital campus is being transformed into a health and wellness community for seniors and their caregivers. Featuring a skilled nursing facility and an array of physicians in different specialties. With future plans for assisted living and independent living and a senior community center. Call today for more information. St. Francis Healthcare System. Creating healthy communities for Hawaii's families. This is Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back. Time now, 626. Well, theater's biggest night, the 73rd annual Tony Awards, took the stage in the heart of New York City. Yeah, that's right. And the night was definitely packed with music, dance, and celebration. Will Gans has a recap of all the theatrics. At Broadway's biggest night, some big names taking center stage. Tina Fey and Jake Gyllenhaal making some big and not entirely serious announcements. We are here to present the first award of the night, Worst Actor in a Musical. No, I, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Tony winner for Best Actor in a Play, Brian Cranston, forgetting to plan ahead. I, I just have to go to the bathroom. I am bloated as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Star Wars villain and Tony nominee Adam Driver getting called out during the Beetlejuice performance. Hey, Adam Driver, you killed Han Solo. And one of Black Panther's leading ladies, Janai Guerrera, presenting the award for best director of a musical to Rachel Chavkin for Town. I wish I wasn't the only woman directing a musical on Broadway this season. There are so many women who are ready to go. That theme of diversity stealing the spotlight all night long. Ali Stroker becoming the first actor who uses a wheelchair to ever win a Tony. This award is for every kid who is watching tonight who has a disability, who has a limitation or a challenge, who has been waiting to see themselves represented in this arena. You are. But of course, with a host like James Corden, the night was full of laughs as well. The late night host teaming up with last year's Tony's host to joke about the other major TV moment happening Sunday night. But 
But unlike Big Little Lies, the Tony Awards brought the best of Broadway to life on live TV. Old faves like Oklahoma, new blockbusters like The Prom. The night's big awards going to The Ferryman for best play, and Hades Town taking the award for best musical. Will Gans, ABC News, New York. Orpheus! Yes, and it's great to see James Corden hosting after carpool karaoke. He gets so much practice anyway, so right. getting a bigger stage this time. Excellent. And actually, a Hades Town won eight awards in total, so wow. it looks like that Clean one. house, That's, yeah. It did, it did clean house what indeed. What an exciting night. Uh, definitely. Well, your top morning headlines are still to come. Time now is 628. Stay with us. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. But first, we're taking a look live outside as the sun rises on the big island. That camera from the Hilo Hawaiian Hotel. Stay with us. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. We'll be right back. How can you prepare your preschoolers to stand out in the classroom? Kumon gives them an academic head start in math and reading. Plus, Kumon kids enter school prepared to be good students with skills such as focus and taking pride in getting things right. Kumon, where smart kids get smarter. The Plaza Assisted Living is opening a new community in Kaneohe this summer. Call us today to schedule a tour to view our new model apartment units and find out why so many are choosing to make the plaza home. So, you're ready to buy a new car. You know what you want, but not where to get it. You could start by going here, then here, and even here. But by then, the entire day's nearly gone. Or you can save time and go straight to Hawaii's Auto Mall in Waipio and compare hundreds of vehicles in one location. Think of all the time you'll save. Time you can spend enjoying your new car rather than shopping for it. Get your next car at the Tony Group Autoplex Waipio and experience the difference. You can't avoid growing older, but you can improve the way you go about it. I'm Diana Ko. When you make the most of your golden years, when you take care of yourself and your family, and when you appreciate what you have and who you are, you're aging well. Join me Fridays, Sundays, and Mondays for stories of information or inspiration on Aging Well. Aging Well is sponsored by New Uwanu Memorial Park, serving families of many different religions and ethnic backgrounds. Dale's little girl's heading to college. Luckily, her dorm is about 10 minutes from a hotel by Wyndham. Ashley's meeting all her in-laws, and she's about 10 minutes from a hotel by Wyndham. Jeff's flying to, oh, never mind. But hey, 10 minutes from a Wyndham. He's having the best day ever. And he's about 10 minutes, 10 minutes from a hotel by Wyndham. With over 6,000 hotels across the country, a great hotel by Wyndham is closer than you think. Book direct at WyndhamHotels.com. Living with diabetes can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Discover an innovative way to better manage your diabetes with Ekahi Wellness. We focus on lifestyle improvements in your nutrition, emotional well-being, exercise, and your medical management, all under one roof. Our team of passionate professionals partner with you and your doctor so you can live with more energy, increase time for work and family, and take control of your diabetes. Your first consultation is at no cost to you, so call us today. KITV4 Island News Ask the Doctor, sponsored by Ekahi Wellness. Now, from KITV4 Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Good morning. Welcome back. Time now, 631 as you're waking up on your Monday morning. All right, we'll get you right back outside with your weather and traffic. And Mika, more hot weather on the way. Yeah, it has been so hot, and it's going to continue to be hot, although our winds are expected to pick up tomorrow. So the bad news is we've got light winds for today. Right now, our temperature is 72 degrees. We really can't complain, though. Our wind speeds are calm at the moment. We'll take a look, though, at the rest of the week. This is what we're looking at with the big weather picture. We've got high pressure to our northeast. That is getting pushed off by this disturbance making its way closer to the island. So as that high pressure gets pushed away, our winds are starting to trend down for our Monday. But like I mentioned, our trades are turning for our Tuesday, sticking around through our weekend. Right now in the single digits for most of the state. Here's a look at the Doppler radar. We do have just a few offshore showers for Hilo. So seeing a few more clouds and some isolated showers, but they are staying again, mostly offshore. Maui is seeing some windward showers and for Oahu and for Kauai, it's staying relatively dry. If you think about heading out to the beach here is what you can expect two to three for east facing shores two to four out south two to three for north and one to three for our west facing shores we don't have any warnings or advisories we're tracking those swells we've got a south southwest swell that's rolling in for the weekend and a small 
smaller, smaller northwesterly swell that's expected to roll in by our Thursday. Taking a look at the rest of the week, we've got light winds for today. By tomorrow, our trade winds start to pick up, coming in from the east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. They're going to last throughout our week, so we've got those easterly trades coming in nice and breezy, about 10 to 25 as we hit Saturday into Sunday. And a heads up, winter to Malka spots, you could see an uptick in your rain as we head into Thursday. But again, we're expecting pretty dry and stable conditions overall for the rest of our week. That's a look at your weather. Take time now to take it out to the roadways with our traffic. We just want to give you an update. We've still got that accident out in Y Manalo. EMS is on scene. They say they are wrapping up though right now. This involves a moped rider on Kalaniana Ole Highway right near Tinker Road. So a heads up for that. And then in Kalihi, we still have it closed down between Numana and Nalanieha Street. So just a heads up for that as well. We do have a downed pole that was caused by an accident, a two vehicle accident. So just be wary of that if you are in the Kalihi area. Here's a look at our town spots right now. H1 and Middle Street still looking good. As we back it up just a bit, here's a look at H1 and Waikele, where you've got smooth sailing, that H1, H2 merge. Volume is picking up those uh, roadways pretty backed up right now. That's a look at your weather and your traffic. Tom and Lindsay, over to you. Thanks, Mika. And speaking of traffic, a busy race for president with more than 20 candidates. And right now, a new poll of the Democratic presidential candidates right now has former Vice President Joe Biden in the lead with 24 percent. But he was a no-show yesterday in Iowa where the rest of the candidates took to the stage at the annual Hall of Fame dinner. Serena Marshall has more. 19 candidates, one state each hoping to make their mark in the state that plays a unique role in picking the next Democratic nominee. They're ready for change and I got a plan for that. The Iowa caucus may be more than 230 days away, but the Democratic field is crowded. One way to hear what they all have to say, candidate speed dating. It was actually a fundraiser, but each one given just five minutes to make their pitch. On all of these issues, there's a common sense way forward. If you want a second date, go to TimRyanForAmerica.com. One candidate not playing, former Vice President Joe Biden, at his granddaughter's high school graduation. He's still leading in the latest Iowa poll, though, and while many of the candidates throughout the weekend took veiled swipes at Biden, they didn't shy away from taking direct aim at the president. The president has completely overblown what he purports to have achieved. Over the deal with Mexico to avert the president's promised tariffs. That includes Mexico sending 6,000 troops to their own southern border. It had been promised months ago, but the administration saying not at this number. Acting Homeland Security Secretary on Fox News. This is the first time we've heard anything like this kind of number of law enforcement being deployed in Mexico to address migration. On Sunday, President Trump renewed his tariff threat, writing on Twitter, if their border deal fails, they can, quote, always go back to their previous very profitable position of tariffs. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Washington. And top Democratic leaders are launching a series of hearings this week on special counsel Robert Mueller's report. They're intensifying their focus on the Russia probe and picking up the pace on an investigative path that some hope will lead to impeachment of the president. The hearings will focus on the two main topics that were in the Mueller report, obstruction of justice and Russian interference in our election. Well, severe weather caused a massive crane to collapse, killing at least one person and injuring six others. Have a listen. It just sliced through the building, a bit like a hot knife through butter, and it went from the fifth floor all the way through to, from what I can tell, at least the third floor. And this right here, the scene in Dallas, Texas yesterday after the crane came crashing down to an apartment complex building below. A strong storm was sweeping through the city at the time, and witnesses say it was pouring rain when a big gust of wind came, sending debris flying through the air. The crane sliced through the apartments and destroyed five floors in the parking garage. And you may have heard of vampire facials. The celebrity-endorsed beauty treatment is now part of a criminal investigation at a New Mexico spa for spreading HIV. New Mexico's health department says two former spa customers tested positive after that procedure. The facial involves drawing their blood and then separating the plasma, then re-injecting those platelets for anti-aging results. New Mexico's attorney general says there isn't much science to back up the promised results, but if patients want the treatment anyways, he's urging them to go to a medical facility. 
All right, time now, 637. Dozens of tires flattened in Kalehi over the weekend. Yeah, now Honolulu police are searching for the people responsible. KITV for Mackenzie Stasco is live in Kalehi this morning with the details and definitely something frustrating to wake up to having your tires slashed, Mackenzie. Tom, that's right. Someone or several people went on a tire slashing spree here in Kalihi. If you take a look over my shoulder, you can see in the distance at least three of these four parked cars here on Kamualii Street have tires slashed. Now, if you take a look at this video, you can get a better idea of just how many vehicles we're talking. Residents and business owners woke up to what you're looking at right now. At least about 17 vehicles with popped tires. Uh, we took a closer look at some of these tires and we did actually see slash marks and it looks like someone went around and actually took a knife and slashed these tires. Now, the affected vehicles spanned near Kalakaua District Park to Menehune Mountain candies here off of Waia Camilo. All of the vehicles again were parked on the street and those business owners and residents did call police. Police responded to the scene and they are now investigating. However, we spoke to police this morning and as of this morning, no arrests have been made. Anyone with information should contact Honolulu police. For now, we'll send it back to you inside. It's definitely an underrated problem, especially when you wake up and you see that happening, you're trying to get to work. Yes. Just hope, hopefully they can uh, get to the bottom of that. Car issues are the worst. Absolutely. Well, the final Hawaii High School class of 2019 who held their commencement ceremony last night. Take a look. And that right there, the girls of the Priory at St. Andrew's Schools, 26 young women dressed in white gowns celebrated their graduation with family and friends. At 152 years old, the Priory is Hawaii's oldest girls' school. Yeah, congratulations to them. And, of course, send us your graduation picks like this one of Cullen Pono Davis, who graduated from Southern Methodist University in Texas. There, so he's got the, the lay in the cowboy hat there. <laughs> he's, of course, he's also a Kamehameha Schools Keao alum from the class of 2015. And you can send photos of any graduation from preschool all the way to grad school to pics at KITV.com. And you just might see them on air. Congratulations to all of them. That's right. Send in those pics. Well, Hawaiian Airlines flights delayed by a technical glitch. They are getting back on track today. More on the latest setback for Boeing. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Use the Spectrum TV app and watch live TV anywhere around Hawaii, even on demand titles. Spectrum. Spectrum Internet has the fastest starting Internet speeds. They also deliver those speeds more consistently than any other provider. Says you. Says a new report from the FCC. FCC? That's not a real thing. You just made that up. Federal Communications Commission. They regulate radio, TV, cable. Sounds a fish. A fish? Official? Do they have badges? Probably. Do they wear tweed jackets? Yeah. That is official. Spectrum Internet delivers faster speeds more consistently than anyone else. Sounds consist. Someone has to ask it. How did you find out the guy was married? I end up getting a phone call from his wife. Someone has to tell it. Skip what he would give you. What would he give up for you? And someone. Can I call you Uncle Steve? Yeah, that's what I am. Has to say it. Might as well start with me. High <laughs> <laughs> five, girl. Watch Steve. Well, all right, then. Steve, today at 10 on KITV. For 50 years, Cracker Barrel has been cooking homestyle favorites to perfection. We thought we'd celebrate by making our golden anniversary extra golden. Introducing new crispy, juicy southern fried chicken. Now at Cracker Barrel. Aloha, I'm Paula Akana. Join KITV4 Island News as we celebrate some very special wahine in Hawaii's remarkable women. From fighting for equality to excelling in careers that were once unheard of for women, they've all left their mark on our island communities and for some, the world. Each month, we'll share a different story of their sacrifices and achievements. Hawaii's remarkable women, only on KITV4 Island News at 6. KITV4 honors remarkable women, brought to you by Slumber World. Grandma gave us her old couch. Uh-oh. Found something. They're back. 
Call Environ Control. For everything you see, there's many others hiding. Environ Control has the solution. Click or call to schedule a free estimate today. Take back your home again. Environ Control. In 1859, King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma were inspired to build a hospital for the sick. Today, Queens has expanded to meet the growing needs of Hawaii, offering comprehensive heart care, advanced neurological services, a world-renowned cancer center, and Hawaii's only level one trauma center. Caring for our community, the royal legacy continues. The Queens Medical Center, celebrating 160 years. The Queens Medical Center, Hawaii's health care leader for 160 years. Good morning, Hawaii, and welcome back. Time now at 6.43 a.m. <laughs> Happy Monday. Clearly, I'm still starting my day as well. 72 degrees right now. Our wind speeds are on the calmer side. We are expecting our trades to return as we head into our week. Right now, our current wind speeds and the single digits for ac across the state. So seven mile per hour winds for Hilo, just seven for Lehue as well. On our radar, we're not seeing too much rain, but we are seeing just a few isolated showers, mainly for Maui, windward areas of Maui, and just offshore of the Big Island for the windward side. Pretty dry here on Oahu and for Kauai. Lots of sunshine to start off our day. We're looking at our temperatures 83 degrees, 84 by the afternoon for the Garden Isle. As we take it on over to Honolulu, we've got partly cloudy skies heading into our afternoon. We can see some clouds developing uh, for our leeward and our interior sections for today, but mostly sunny conditions. Kahului, very sunny for you. Those highs getting up to about 89, could push 90 as we head into the afternoon. And taking a look at Hilo, you've got more clouds in the forecast as temperatures getting up to 82. Quick check up on your surf, one to three out west, two to three for north and east, two to four for our south facing shores. Those trade winds return by tomorrow and they are lasting throughout our week. That's a look at your weather. Let's take it out to the roadways now with your traffic. We do have that accident cleared out in Waimanalo that was involving a moped rider on Kalaniaanole Highway near Tinker. Again, that was cleared, uh, so no roadways blocked off for that. And we just want to give you an update. In Kalihi, they are still working. It's closed down between Numana and Nalanieha Street. So just a heads up for that, we've still got HPD out there, a down pole because of an accident. Taking a look at the H1-H2 merge, if you're heading to town, it's pretty slow going in this area. Cycling through our cameras, H1 and Middle Street, still looking good out there. And I'll take it out to the windward side where the H1 viaduct uh, heading into town is looking good and taking it to our Pulley Highway camera and Laime Road things are looking good as well out on Oahu's east side you've got traffic starting to build up just a bit on Kalaniana Ole Highway that's a look at your weather and your traffic Tom and Lindsay over to you all right, thanks, Miko. Well, Hawaiian Airlines flights are back on track today. On Saturday, it grounded some flights because of a software problem that affected its GPS. Boeing 717 aircrafts were affected by that. Hawaiian Air says it had to make some mandatory upgrades that are required by the FAA, and that's when that problem started. But they do say the fleet right now is fully restored. Hey, time now, 646, and NASA is opening the International Space Station to tourists. Yeah, pack your bags, right? And American Airlines extending Boeing Max cancellations until Labor Day. Jane King is at the NASDAQ right now with those stories and more in today's KITV4 Island Business Report. Good morning. Mark is off to a strong start today, and that is after last week was the best week of the year for the stock market. So, so there is some relief this morning uh, that uh, the Mexican tariffs will not take effect. There was an agreement reached between the U.S. and Mexico over the weekend. Well, American Airlines says it won't fly the Boeing 737 MAX all summer. Travel expert Peter Greenberg says the plane likely won't fly until the first quarter of next year. Boeing rushed this plane into certification. Boeing actually dictated to the FAA what they thought they shouldn't look at, and the FAA looked the other way. This is already concluded. This is, I'm not making this up. Greenberg says reform is needed with the FAA, and there have been some proposals for that. But until there's a permanent FAA administrator, not much will get done, he says. Fiat Chrysler recalling nearly 350,000 Ram pickup trucks. The airbags may not inflate in a crash. The recall covers the Ram 1500, mainly from the 2019 model year, although the company has a small number of 2020 models involved in this recall as well. FedEx will stop air shipments of packages for Amazon, the online retail giant expanding its own delivery service. 
FedEx says it's a strategic decision and it will allow FedEx to focus on thousands of other retailers like Target, Walgreens and Walmart. Their deal expires June 30th. And NASA will allow tourists to visit the International Space Station starting in 2020, but this adventure will not come cheap with NASA charging around $35,000 per night. That's on top of the 50 million or so that SpaceX and Boeing are expected to charge to get there. The agency can only accommodate up to two short duration private astronaut missions each year. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King for KITV4 Island Business Report. Jane, thank you. Get ready, gamers. Microsoft has announced a new Xbox console, codenamed Project Scarlet. This new Xbox will debut at the end of the year. And Microsoft says it's four times as powerful as the Xbox One S, coming with more memory, more storage, higher resolution, and better graphics. The company also introducing a new controller with Bluetooth and a rechargeable battery that has up to 40 hours of battery life. And speaking of new tech, Apple sharing some new gadgets at a conference, including a $999 Pro Stand. And the computer itself starts at $6,000. Apple says the Pro Stand allows users to easily position the monitor. Some other options include purchasing a mount adapter for $199 or leaning the monitor against the computer. <laughs> there we go. That might be cheaper just to lean it up, like, up against there. That's expensive yeah, right? for a stand. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you can afford 35 grand for a trip to space, maybe you can buy that too. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, well, it's still the con time now, 6:49, and Nika has a last check on your weather and traffic when we come back. Also, your surf report is next. But for now, we'll take a live look outside over the windward side from our windward mall cam. Beautiful out there. Yeah, stay Absolutely with us. Absolutely gorgeous. Living with diabetes can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Discover an innovative way to better manage your diabetes with Ekahi Wellness. We focus on lifestyle improvements in your nutrition, emotional well-being, exercise, and your medical management, all under one roof. Our team of passionate professionals partner with you and your doctor so you can live with more energy, increase time for work and family, and take control of your diabetes. Your first consultation is at no cost to you, so call us today. Did you know compelling new research published in top medical journals links inflammation to heart health, brain health, and even lifespan? I agree. So why don't we manage inflammatory health with these well-known anti-inflammatories? The truth is, there are no anti-inflammatories safe enough for chronic use. Until now. Introducing Xanthacin, the safe anti-inflammatory for health and longevity. Visit GNC, your neighborhood inflammatory health center, to learn more. Right now, earn 60,000 bonus miles after qualifying purchases when you apply and are approved for the Hawaiian Airlines Bank of Hawaii World Elite MasterCard. Plus, you earn miles on everyday purchases. Get closer to the travels and moments you'll remember forever with this special offer. Need another reason? Enjoy an introductory no annual fee. To apply, visit HawaiianAirlines.com. Pack your bags and be ready to go to Las Vegas instantly with Vacations Hawaii and KITV4 Island News. Enter at KITV.com and watch Good Morning Hawaii to see if you're the winner. Be ready to go to Vegas with Vacations Hawaii that week. Pack your bags. We go Vegas. I'm Nicole Kalakau. I'm a trial lawyer at Levitt Yamani and Soldner. There is no greater feeling than helping people who are at their lowest of lows. I hope you never need us. But if you do, we'll do all we can to help. Most things in life should be easy. And the best things in life come free. And for everything else, it's about finding the right financial provider. One that cares for your needs. Pearl Hawaii Federal Credit Union. Upgrade you. Blue P. I want to not like him, but I can't. Not letting some snake slide his way into her heart. I don't know what to do. May I talk to you for a moment? Uh... The Bachelorette on a special night Tuesday on ABC. 
Good morning, Hawaii. We're looking at a beautiful start to our Monday morning. We've got pretty nice weather in the forecast for the rest of our week. Temperature 72 degrees here in town. Our wind speeds are calm at the moment. They're going to stay light throughout our day. Our trade winds return by our Tuesday. They're sticking around for the rest of the week. That is the good news there. Our current wind speeds are light across the state in the single digits, pretty non-existent for some parts. Uh, very light here in town, a seven mile per hour winds for Hilo. We're not expecting much rain on our radar right now. This morning, we're just seeing a few windward scattered showers for the southern half of the state, but overall pretty dry and stable conditions for most of our week. Leeward and interior spots could see a few more clouds developing, could lead to some isolated showers throughout the day. Overall, it's going to be a warm one, 89 to 94 degrees. Our light and variable winds coming in 10 to 15 miles per hour. Lots of sunshine this morning, turning partly cloudy by the afternoon. Those trade winds again coming back by our Tuesday, nice and breezy by the weekend. That's a checkup of your island weather. Time now for Surf with Maggie P. Good morning, Mika. Here's today's pay scale wave height. Surf is going to be nice. Pretty much all around the compass today, we have a nice summer day with those trade winds filling in. North Shore is coming in at 2 to 3 feet with occasional 4s off that dropping northwest swell. Out west, Makaha is also going to be 1 to 3 off a of mixed plate dropping northwest and south southwest swells. Southern shores are 3 to 5 from White Plains to Waikiki. And Devon and Sandy Beach, you're going to see waves of 3 to 5 feet off that south southwest. Makapu'u coming in at 1 to 3 feet. The tide is low right now, coming up to a high of a foot around midday. Your surf report this morning is powered by Movadi Coffee, now featuring Kona blends with tropical flavors. Pick up your Movadi Coffee at Don Quixote or visit MovadiCoffee.com. Back to you, Mika. All right, thanks for that, Maggie P. Taking a look at our island traffic right now, just a few more cars building in as you make your way out west from the east side right now, H1 and Coco Head. As we cycle through our cameras, we are seeing some volume at the H1, H2 merge, starting to build up a bit through town as well. You could see at H1 and Middle Street, more volume picking up there. We'll take it on out to the east side. Here's a look at Kalaniana Ole Highway, where roadways are clear. Uh, we'll take it cycling through our cameras. We'll take it out to our windward areas right now, where you're starting to see some more cards on the road as well. Here's a look at your drive times. We did have those that accident out in Waimanalo has since been cleared and crews are still working in Kalihi, that down pole that was caused by an accident. Drive times right now as you make your way into town, 40 minutes from Eva Beach, 85 if you're coming out from the west side and your commute from Hawaii Kai, just under 20 minutes. Now here's our first look at what's coming up on Good Morning America with Ginger Z. Good morning. Coming up on GMA, the new study warning about the potential dangers of abdominal fat in men. The link to cancer this morning. Dr. Ashton here to explain only on GMA. All right, thanks, Ginger Z. Well, now for a last check of today's headlines, 36-year-old Kyle Douglas will be sentenced today for stealing a car with an 11-year-old boy inside. That theft took place in Kailua and ended Kaneohe after Douglas crashed the car into another vehicle. And on Hawaii Island, part of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park will be closed today to remove little fire ants. And the steam vents parking lot will be closed from 8 this morning until noon. The trail from the parking lot to the steaming bluff will also be closed as well. The park will treat steam vents every four to six weeks until all those ants are gone. All right, well, D.C. could use a little bit of aloha in these, these times, right? Well, there was a lot of it in the nation's capital yesterday for the annual King Kamehameha lay draping ceremony. That's right. Dozens of people, both from Hawaii and the mainland, adorn the King Kamehameha statue inside the U.S. Capitol Visitor Center with lei. And this year marks the 50th year of the statue's commemoration in Washington, D.C. And the annual ceremony, a way of honoring the first king to unify all of the Hawaiian Islands. We're lucky here in the nation's capital to have a really vibrant and really big Hawaiian community on the East Coast. Now also this week, business leaders will join Hawaii U.S. Senator Maisie Hirono for the annual Hawaii on the Hill event, highlighting local products. And just a reminder that tomorrow is King Kamehameha Day. It's a state holiday, which means there here on Oahu, the bus will operate on a state holiday schedule. The People's Open Markets will be closed, as will all satellite city halls and driver's licensing centers. All on-street parking will be free, except for meters on Kalakaua Avenue along Queen Kapiolani Park. 
All right, well, pack your bags because it's time to go to Vegas with Vacations Hawaii and Good Morning Hawaii. We're giving you a chance to win one of Vacations Hawaii's famous Vegas getaways. The only catch, though, you have to be able to leave on a few days' notice. Hey, my old stomping grounds. If that's you, then head on over to the contest page on our website at KITV.com. Enter your information. Then tune in to Good Morning Hawaii weekday mornings between 4.30 and 7. If we call your name, you'll have 15 minutes to call in and, and uh, claim that trip to Vegas. Pretty right. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All All right. right. Well, 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 thanks for watching us. Absolutely. We'll see you back here at noon. Experience the bold, crispy, mouth-watering flavors Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is serving up in each and every bite. Providing closed captioning for KITV4 Island News. Mario Lopez. Average Andy. Andy was kind enough to volunteer to play against Mario. Hold up. The battle of the summer. Those are not options. How do you like these apples? Hey. Plus, we're walking. This is neat. Ah! With Kevin Nealon. Let me check my GPS. That thing will have you going in the river. Next new Ellen. Ellen. Weekdays on KITV. Dale's little girl is heading to college. Luckily, her dorm is about 10 minutes from a hotel by Wyndham. Ashley's meeting all her in-laws, and she's about 10 minutes from a hotel by Wyndham. Jeff's flying to, oh, never mind. But hey, 10 minutes from a Wyndham. He's having the best day ever. And he's about 10 minutes, 10 minutes from a hotel by Wyndham. With over 6,000 hotels across the country, a great hotel by Wyndham is closer than you think. Book direct at WyndhamHotels.com. News sponsored by Slumber World. Wherever you go, KITV4 Island News goes with you. Get updated news, traffic, and weather on your mobile devices at KITV.com or download the KITV News and Weather app now. Sponsored by Hawaii State FCU. Always right by you. There's a new supermarket salmon. It is the first genetically engineered animal intended for food to be approved in the U.S. But could what we don't know? You actually are playing with nature. Hurt us. You have to trust where you're shopping. Plus, she was the executive producer of the Oprah Winfrey Show. I had a job with meaning. Sherry Salata opens up about her latest life lessons. I had manifested a dream come true career, but not a dream come true life. All new Oz. Dr. Oz. Today at 3 on KITV. There's nonstop fun for everyone at the 50th State Fair. Don't miss the Demolition Derby, Monster Trucks, and a Rockin' Rodeo. Plus thrilling rides like Blackout and Speed. Details at EK.